Hello, today we're going to talk about the equivalent force couple system. So the first thing we need to do is talk about what this is. So for any set of forces, no matter how complex, we could have you know, 100 forces, 100 moments acting on this body. Uh, no matter how complex, we can always reduce this to a single force and a single moment that's going to be statically equivalent to our original set of forces. Uh, and so with statically equivalent forces, we can replace a complex set of forces with something very simple to simplify our analysis. Uh, and so an example of this, uh, say we've got a body down here. Uh, I've got five forces acting on the whole thing. Uh, if I find the, uh, the equivalent force couple system, uh, I can find a single force and a single moment uh, that is going to be equivalent to this original setup here. Um, and so <clears throat> that is known as the equivalent force couple system when we reduce something complex down to just that single force and that single moment there. All right, so finding the equivalent force couple system, uh, it allows us to simplify our analysis. Uh, and this is particularly useful uh, if we're analyzing a set of bodies or structures, something that uh, we've got kind of a lot of complexity already. If we can simplify things, it makes our lives easier. So <clears throat> how do we go about doing that? Um, you know, first, choose a point uh, that we want to find the equivalent force couple system about. So down here I've got a body, uh, just some block. It's got a force one, force two, force three. So I've got three forces acting on it. Uh, and they're not concurrent, so they're going to be exerting some moments here. Uh, and I want to find a single force, single moment that's going to be equivalent. So I choose a point. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose the middle. Um, it does matter where you put your point. Um, so you can choose any point, uh, but the equivalent force couple system uh, is going to change depending on that point. So if I choose this point here, I'm going to get one force and one moment acting at that point. Uh, if I choose a force over, or the point over here, I would get an, a different equivalent force couple system. So it's important to choose a point that's kind of relevant to us. Um, so next you're going to resolve each force and into a force and a couple about that point. So I think about taking F1 uh, and I resolve that into a force and a couple uh, or a moment about that point. Uh, I take F2 and I'm going to do the same thing. And I take F3 and I do the same thing. Uh, so now you'll notice that I've got three forces, uh, F1 EQ, F2 EQ, and F3 EQ uh, that are now acting at the center point. I've also got three moments uh, that are acting at the center point as well. So to find the equivalent force in the force couple system, uh, I'm going to add together those forces. They're concurrent forces now. I can simply add them together as vectors. Uh, and I get a final force vector, uh, either through components or I can use geometric methods. I find this FEQ vector. The moments, I can do the same thing. So in this case, uh, in 2D, I just kind of use a positive and negative to denote clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, I can add those up into a single moment like this. Uh, or if it's in 3D, you're going to have moment vectors. You would add them together just like you would uh, for the force vectors. So <clears throat> now we've got a single force and a single moment. This is our equivalent force couple system. Uh, it's going to cause the same reactions as that original set of forces, the F1, F2, and F3 we had before. All right, as a shortcut to this whole thing, uh, if I want to go from here to my equivalent force couple system, uh, I can use the follow, also use the following process. So the equivalent force is simply going to be the sum of all the force vectors. So if I take all of these vectors and I add together the x components, add together the y components, I'll get the final vector, the x and y components, the final vector there. Uh, and that will be FEQ. To find the equivalent moment that goes with this whole thing, uh, I can simply take the sum uh, of all the moments about that point. Uh, so this comes in two forms. Uh, each one of these forces is going to ex exert some moment about that point. I would add all those moments. Uh, or sometimes directly we have a moment that's just exerted on a body. 
uh, and I would just add those in as well. So I'm going to take all the moments about this point, add those up, also add in any moments that are directly acting on the body, uh, and I find my MEQ, uh, or this moment, uh, for my equivalent force couple system. So with this, you've got two ways to find the equivalent force couple system. Uh, either you use the uh, method where you resolve all the forces uh, into a force and a couple about some single point, uh, or you can use the shortcut method to really add together all the force vectors uh, and then find all the moments about one particular point. Uh, and you've got these two methods to find the equivalent force couple system, which is a force and a moment that are statically equivalent to your original scenario here. So with that, that's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.